how much fuel is start-stop technology really saving is a topic of discussion for today. So I've done two MPG tests with our 2019 F-150 equipped with a 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 engine. And the first test, the start-stop was not functioning. It was all city going through downtown Detroit. There was a lot of red lights and the truck did really well. It returned 26 miles per gallon, but it only turned off like one time for the whole trip. And the reason it, it did that is because it was too cold and I didn't let the engine warm up enough. So the next weekend, I did the same test, but I warmed the truck up for about 20 minutes before doing the test. On that test, start-stop functioned every time. And I filmed it, I filmed everything, and I'm gonna link both of those videos in the description and then in, in the comment section so you can see both of those vehicle, uh, videos. But the answer, the question today, how much fuel did it save? The first test without start-stop with the engine a little bit colder was 26.6 miles to the gallon in the city still really good and like I say links in the description to see exactly how I came up with these numbers but 26 miles to the gallon without start stop with start stop same trip about 40 miles we got 27.3 miles to the gallon so what's really interesting is we were able to get one more mpg out of the truck by using start stop technology. Now, of course, every situation would be different, different number of stops, different, you know, whatever, but we repeated the same exact route again, at the same time, just a week later. So the results were pretty consistent, but any situation would be different, depending on your particular situation, how many stops you really have and starts and all whatnot, it really would have an effect. One thing that was really interesting about doing both tests back to back i noticed that the computer was not as accurate when it comes to how much or when it comes to fuel economy it wasn't as accurate when there was a lot of starts and a lot of stops when there weren't as many starts and stops the computer was within a half of mpg or maybe one mpg but with all the starting and stopping the computer thought we were getting 30 miles to the gallon when we when we really were only getting 27 miles to the gallon. So I don't know, I don't think there was any issue with the uh, recording of the mileage or anything, but maybe there was some human error. I don't think so, but I guess I guess it's always possible. But the truck said we were getting 30 to the gallon, but according to the math, we were only getting 27. So from what I can find. We gained one MPG using start stop and the computer was less accurate using start stop. So at the end of the day, it's very controversial technology. Is it worth it? Most people don't like it. I gotta get, use the password. Most people don't like start stop, but me personally, it doesn't bother me. I don't have a problem using start stop. I usually just leave it on. It doesn't really get on my nerves or anything it's gotten better over the years the first year i had the 2015 with the 27 and it was a little bit shaky but now here in 19 they've really made it a lot smoother and a lot more seamless um i don't know if they've isolated the engine better or you know something with the transmission but it definitely has improved and it doesn't rattle or shake anything i don't have a problem with start stop but i know a lot of people really hate the feature um i also run sport mode so much that it it's not always on so anyway uh comment below what you think about start stop and i'm gonna link the videos down below and hope to hear from you soon thanks for watching bye